Okay guys, today we're going to show you how to do a um, two-tone paint job. You know, the factory uh, Chevy Silverado comes with a red top and a silver grayish bottom. And uh, we had to repair the door. The damage was right here. And obviously it went all the way to the red right side. So we're going to paint a gray first. You can see the color gray. Same thing with the fender and the rocker panel. As soon as we paint that, we're going to show you how to switch back to the red, paint the boat one day, and you don't have to like wait a couple of days or whatever. It's a really easy way to do it. So we're going to shoot the gray first and then we'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so uh, we finished this color, great. So now we're taking all the tape off, off of the door and the car. As you can see, the, the door completely was prepared for the paint job, so it's all sanded it and uh, ready to be painted. So we just taped it off, the red part. Same thing with the fender. All right. As you can see, I have a line right here. I use uh, a regular electrical tape because it's got a really fine edge. A lot of people use, um, I think most of the people use regular blue tape, which is uh, fine line blue tape. I don't use that because it's really expensive and this uh, electrical tape is uh, really cheap and it does exact same job as the fine line. You can see when I peel it off look how nice and straight the line is. So I mean you don't have to use expensive 3M tape to do this job. You know this works excellent. I've been doing this over two years that blue uh, the regular tape and uh, never had any problems with it. Same thing on this side. Okay. As you can see, perfect line. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna tape, off, tape it off the, now the gray part and leave the red part open. So let me get this done and I'll show you how it looks. Okay. okay. Now you can see we exposed the red color and we close the gray color. Um, again, I use that tape, the electrical tape on the bottom. But you gotta be really, really careful. Um, whenever I put the tape on the gray side, I leave about 1 16th, maybe a little bit less, half of the 16th inch uh, down so I can have overlap a little bit. Because if you're gonna go on the yellow, then obviously you're gonna have a line between the red and the gray, yellow or something. So you gotta be really careful. It's gotta be just a bit lower than the gray line is so you have to have a, just a little bit gray line open i don't know if the camera can catch this i mean it's less than a sixteen of an inch it's right here i mean really thin line of the gray so whenever i put the red 
will overlap with the gray, okay? So basically, I'm not gonna paint the whole fender, so I just do the blend to here with the red. Same thing here on the door, I'll just blend it to the top, and over here, I'm not gonna paint the whole thing, it's gonna be all clear coated. So let me get the red on, I'll paint the red, and I'll show you what to do next. All right, we've got the red color done. Now we're gonna give it a flash time about 30 to 40 minutes before the clear coat. But before we do the clear coat, that's my secret. That's what, how I do, I don't know what other people do. But now I open both colors, red and gray. how nice and beautiful line. together and you're not gonna feel the edge after you buff it but I never done it because nobody needs to, not to feel the edge if you're doing a hood let's say a section on the hood you want to do the two color hood and you don't want anybody to be able to feel the edge of the clear coat of the two colors meet you just send it white set the little edge and buff it the clear coat and we'll make smooth as one one solid piece and uh one couple of tips before you when you do the change of the colors before you untape on one color and tape to another color always wash your hands with the dish soap really good because in case you touch paint anywhere you don't want to get your oils on it okay every time you did one panel another panel you transfer another color wash your hands again and uh, always I use uh, wax and grease removal before I do any paint job uh, that's it. I'll put the clear coat and I'll show you the end result. All right. Here's the end result for two color paint job. As you can see, the truck got the bottom line gray and the top is red. So here's our job we're done looks really really good and the line as you can see the factory one ah oh, it's really hard to catch okay factory one and my line are exact the same lines and like i said you can't feel it you can feel it just a little bit but if you can run the buffer over it you're not going to be able to feel it but yeah same thing with the factory you can feel the factory also so there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, two color paint job at once. So you don't have to paint one color, leave it for the next day and paint another color. So you can get both colors done at once. And uh, there you go.